Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have completed the separation of their household, office and charity work from Kensington Palace. But those in the know say it's more controlled than it seems. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, announced they would split from the Kensington Palace household in March this year. They moved out of their cottage in the place grounds to Frogmore Cottage in the Royal Estate in Winter. At the time, a statement said it was a very special place for Meghan and Harry, as the site of their marriage. But with the announcement their offices would be moving out of Kensington Palace to Buckingham Palace, speculation of a rift ramped up. Then the couple set up their own Instagram account, initially following, and then unfollowing, Kate and William's account. And on Thursday, the couple announced they would separate from the charity they ran with Prince William and Kate Middleton, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. With all these moves to distance themselves from the royal status quo, it's expected the Queen's office would be keeping an eye on how things are done. A well-placed royal source has told the Sunday Time that the plan to move the Sussex office to Buckingham Palace rather than Windsor was deliberately engineered by the Queen's office. The plan is to keep an eye on the Sussexes. The source said, the intention is to ensure what they do is coordinated with the rest of the household, so you don't get an independent state of Frogmore. There have already been instances of the couple forging off without consent. For example, Meghan's £330,000 baby shower, which Buckingham Palace reportedly knew nothing about in advance. The Queen's office will try to prevent this sort of thing from happening in the future, while allowing the Sussexes to live their lives as they wish in Windsor. Interestingly, a former member of royal staff said this move echoes a similar one made by Buckingham Palace when Diana was alive. The former staffer said, much of the attention was on Charles and Diana and Andrew and Fergie. The Queen was much younger and doing more, and she didn't much like being pushed off the front pages, so there was a group formed at Buckingham Palace called the Coordination and Research Unit, which was about diary and media planning. That's what they've got to do now, coordinate diaries better and coordinate what they're all putting out. But it doesn't seem to have worked, with the Sussexes and Cambridges barely putting on a show of unity anymore. In a statement from the Royal Foundation regarding the charity split, it said, These changes are designed to best complement the work and responsibilities of their Royal Highnesses as they prepare for their future roles, and to better align their charitable activity with their new households. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are incredibly proud of what they have achieved together through the Royal Foundation.